Once upon a time, England made the best guns in the world, still do. However, we led the market and led the world in quality guns for driven game shooting. And then over the years, we now use foreign guns for driven game shooting. However, I'm here at Sportheim in West London and they very recently have brought out a English style over and under for game shooting. They've taken a continental gun in an over and under format and anglicized it. And here she is. This is the Parazzi MX-12 Ribless. Ribless, you say? Well, yes, obviously, there, there is no rib. Back in the 1920s, late 20s, 30s, ribless over and unders were a thing. There's a boss ribless over there that is just supremely delicious. But these guys thought, seeing as everyone loves that, how do we bring a flavor of that sort of gun, which is 60 or 70 grand's worth used, to the market? So they teamed up with Parazzi to produce this, the Parazzi MX-12 ribless. So what do you get for 13,000 pounds? You get a Parazzi MX-12 action. It's a great gun, fixed trigger thing. Everybody knows what a Parazzi MX-12 is. They just work, they're a great machine. They then stuck some barrels on it. This particular one is 29 and a half. We've got a true 16 ball scaled action here in 31. We've got a 20 ball here in 29 and a half as well. Although, again, you could probably order whatever specification you like. These guns are built to order for the most part, although you can obviously come and pick one off the shelf if you want it from Sportarm, any of their four stores, in fact. The ribless part is probably the most exciting part about this gun, although it is a sum of its parts. There is no rib, as I said. What this does is strip a lot of weight out of the gun. It strips a lot of that aiming capability out of the gun, and what it does, a bit like taking your bead off of a ribbed gun, allows you to swing that gun a little bit more fluidly, potentially, without things playing in your mind. It allows it a quick aiming gun with quick swinging barrels. The barrels which are, as I said, HP proofed. Fixed choke. You can get them multi-choked if you want, but they're HP steel proof now. And I believe all the way up to full choke, which is pretty cool. To counteract the fact that they've stripped a load of weight out of the barrels, they've then stripped a lot of weight out of the stock on four and they've slimmed it right down. Again, adding to that delightful speed, that anglicized feel. It is a beautiful slim feel in the hands. They decided not to go with a straight hand because inherently the Parazzi action has quite a large trigger group. And not wanting to make it too slim, they still want this gun to be a workhorse, so they need it to be strong, and strong it is. What removing all that weight out the front and back does is leave you, and the Parazzi's have quite a big action block, a nice chunk of mid weight. So this gun is seven pounds two, which is quite light but it's not as light as it could be. What that does is put the majority of the weight in between your hands, which gives you a really steady gun that still can run at 100 miles an hour if you want it to, which we're gonna find out in a minute when we shoot it. All Parazzi custom options are available as extras. So, this particular 20 bore has a fully engraved action. It is beautiful. They all come as auto safe, though manual safety is available if you wanted. This one comes with upgraded wood. Again, the beauty of buying something from a Parazzi based gun is you could have a full side plate, you could have unengraved, you could have completely custom engraved, you could have whatever you want. The world is indeed your oyster. And those extras don't have to cost a great deal of money. So this one, fully hand engraved with upgrade wood, is another 5,000 over this 13,000 pound base gun, which to be fair, is still exceptionally beautiful. The clear winner out of this trio, at least for me, is, is the 16, that true scaled 16. And as I said, the pronunciation is quite large anyway, so scaling it down just a portion allows for a beautifully, beautifully tactile looking action. The angle is running from the thin back to that slightly weightier middle down through that thin forehand and into the super, super looking barrels is just stunning. When you see a set of ribless over and under barrels, I don't know, something about them that just looks right, not plonking a huge great rib, not that, I mean, I like a big rib. It, 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 it's not that one's better than the other. But this is just classier than the other. Anyway, that's enough waffle. I, 
can't wait to shoot. I genuinely can't wait to shoot it. It's um, of all the guns I've seen today, this all the guns I've ever seen out the Parazzi factory. The the fact that this is ribless, the fact that this is a truly fake boss. <laughs> oh, it's going to kill me. It's just wicked. Let's go and see if it shoots like a boss. Time to shoot the ribless gun. It's a little bit different, um, but I think this could uh, really put it through its paces. I mean, Built this up in my head quite a lot. Yeah, I mean, they're certainly different. I know you love the ribless bosses, so this will be interesting to see how they compare. Well, I'm gonna let you go first. Very kind of you, I thank you so much. You yeah, ab absolutely, yeah. Get out. <laughs> Let's give it a go, see how we get on. Mate, it just looks badass, doesn't it? It does, it looks awesome. It really does. Just saying, it is traditional. All the excuses should come out before you pull the trigger. Oh, yeah. All right, but you seem to be like it's a continuous stream. As it were, it's only natural. Where, what do we got for? One of these. One of those. Nice and easy. Okay. Oh, you do have your left eye picked that barrel up, don't you? Yeah, I really do. Have you contemplated cutting it out? I tried to, and it's difficult. I just, I tried to shut it as I, as I mount the gun. And it just never oh, I mean, really like, worked. get an open and we'll just carve it out. <laughs> we'll get you a fancy tweed eye patch. Yes. Pull. Yeah, she'll do. Not much of that left. No. Pull. I mean, so far I'm in love. Yeah. Followed by a left. That's the tits. Yeah. Um, I, that is my professional opinion. Yeah, I mean, I can go along with that. After four shots. And four absolute dustings. Yeah, just instinctive, but not instinctive. Just does, it's an over and under that shoots like a side by side in the best possible way. Exactly. A game gun that's not just a, well, we couldn't be bothered to, you know, change our sporter fundamentally. And I'm a great believer in killing pheasants with a trap gun. <laughs> <laughs> but, that is a, shoot. Let's shoot some everywhere else. Yeah. Something, in, yeah, something yes. a bit more testing. Let's go into something a little bit more testing. Pull. That one's a bit dead. Going that way, it's clearly. If anyone ever wants a good day's pheasant shooting, I suggest they take next to it. Yeah. With an over and under, definitely. Do you want to, do you want to get a side by side out? No, go on, go on, no, please. I'm all right. No, please. Absolutely. Please, I don't want you to have excuses right now. <laughs> that is nasty, isn't it? It is. It's got a bit of wind behind it. There we go. Straight down your throat is what you needed. So you like this over and under now? I love it. Yeah, no, this is now. fantastic. Now, now I can actually hit something with it. You've changed your entire life. As Completely, a yeah. That's that's acceptable. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's always the way, though. <laughs> so let's see if I can hit it now after all that bollocks. <laughs> I'm sure you hit it first time. Absolutely fascinating. It takes Where? a little bit of getting used to shooting it, but once you've got it, it's just so instinctive and natural. Where there's no rib, it doesn't draw your right eye in the slightest. No. So usually you get that really firm sight picture and it seems to lock your right eye in. And I hung out with Ed Lyons for a day, so I'm qualified to talk on this. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, at least that's what it seems to me. Uh, where this is, is I've never, you know when people say they see two barrels? Yeah. And I've never really seen that until now. So you just have to focus that one of them is the correct one and that's wicked. Bizarre. Yeah. But wicked. It's a little bit different, but yeah. So if the lightweight side side was joyful and the heavyweight side side was awesome, wicked, wicked's a bad describer. We'll think of a better describing word. The difficulty, at least from the three shots I've had, so I'm basically an expert, is giving it enough lead feels strange. Yeah, no, I know what you mean. If the gap feels bigger because there's no rim. There we go. So always a little bit far in front on that second one. Yeah, I, I don't think it's a gun to shoot maintained lead. No. It's a very, it's like subside, just bum belly, beak, a huge gap, pull the trigger. Yeah, exactly. You can get used to this. It's just, it's basically like shooting a box. Hit 
if an over and under and killing pheasants is a guilty pleasure, this is like, there's no guilt in this. No. It's so pure. It's so pure, it's so finessed, it's so natural. It's almost like what an over and under should be. Oh, mate, you are full of advertising taglines for this gun. We've, we've sold a few of them, so. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> So that was an amazing experience. As much of a learning experience as it was a fun one. Things to take home, the Parati MX-12 Ribless, exclusive to Sport Arm, is unique. It's an over and under that shoots like a side by side in the most delicious way. But with all the good stuff from an over and under, it can be tamed. You know, we're shooting 75 yard big loopers with it. It can be tamed. There's of course some downsides to it, some sporting targets are going to be a little bit harder than others. But the chances of you going for this gun, if you're into that, is fairly minimal anyway. This gun goes against every single thing that we're told is right. There's no big rib, it's lightweight, it's super fast, it's quite whippy, there's a lot of centre weight, which is great, but, but um, I think that's good in all instances. There's no rib, the sight plane is almost non-existent. But it doesn't matter, it makes your wins so much more pure, as we said in the video. I couldn't put it down, it, it flowed, it's just good. And for 13 grand, it's gotta be one of the best game shooting over and unders on the market. As Archie said, you can't just take the rib off of any gun and it then be this sort of spec. But this concept is fascinating. It's not gonna be for everyone. However, if you just wanna enjoy the beautiful art of game shooting, can't afford a boss, don't want a side by side. This gun is just miraculous. And not be funny, it held its own. If you do then want to use it for everything else, it is perfectly, perfectly set. It just takes a bit of relearning. It's not the same as a big, heavy, ribbed over and under. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Sport Arm, for <laughs> allowing me the, the privilege, actually, of reviewing this gun. And I rarely say that. It was such an experience. Thanks for West London for letting us play with it on their absolutely stunning ground. And that's all from me. I could wax lyrical about that gun for a while. It's, it's in the top guns I have reviewed. A true experience. Love it. Guys, take care. Goodbye. We'll see you next time.